Okay, everybody, in this episode, I'm going to be covering the lift and extract functions in Premiere. First of all, we kind of went over the insert and overwrite just quickly. I'm just going to quickly refresh that there. When you load a clip into your source monitor here, you can set in and out points on your clip. You sit, hit I for in point, O for out point, and you have this range here that's going to be placed in the timeline. And then these two little buttons here, your insert and overwrite, determine how this endpoint and outpoint is going to be placed into your timeline. So let's go down to the timeline here. I'm going to hit Shift 3 and jump down to my timeline. And we're going to find a place to insert this clip here. And now you've got your shortcuts, comma, for insert, period, for overwrite. And watch what this does when we put comma here. What that does is it basically shoves that clip in between. It shoves all of this footage down and inserts that footage inside. And if you do period, that's overwrite. That basically overwrites everything that's in its path in the timeline. Let me do a little shorter range, a little shorter range here. So now once again, comma, will shove everything down, period, will overwrite everything in its path. And if you change your source patching down here, if you drag this V1 up to here, it's going to send that video clip. And uh, right now it's still assigning the audio to this audio track there. So now we're assigning our video to this track and our audio to this track down here. Now if you hit insert, notice it shoves everything out and leaves a gap there. And now if you hit overwrite, it overwrites over the top here and doesn't shove everything down. And this is good for B-roll editing, which we'll get into in future episodes. That's basically what the insert and overwrite do in your source monitor. Over here you have kind of similar icons. These are a little bit different, but this is for basically timeline editing here. It's not for your source monitor editing, for your basic editing that you lay an in and out point clip down in. These are basically for your timeline editing. And what lift and extract is for is, is basically for it's like a cut copy and paste or I just should say a cut and paste inside of your timeline here and when we describe cut copy and paste that's basically when you cut things in a word processor it holds it in a queue it holds it in a notepad queue ready for pasting so that, that's basically what the lift and extract is it's kind of a, a type of a cut copy and paste here but it does it for in and out point ranges like it does in your source monitor so let's decide to cut a portion out here. Now this is a little bit different because it's a music video that's got one single track too, but I'm still going to demonstrate this. If I uh, land on, if I arrow up or arrow down and land on a, on a cut here, I'm going to hit I for endpoint, and notice it puts an endpoint on your timeline in a very similar manner to what it does on an individual clip here. And let's say we want to do a range of clips. I'm going to arrow down to the end of this clip, and I want to extract those two clips right there. And put O for out point. Now watch the difference. If you hover your mouse over the lift key or the extract key, it brings up two shortcuts. One is the semicolon. One is the parentheses key right next to the colon and semicolon key. So if you hit semicolon or the colon key, that is a lift. And now watch what happens when I hit semicolon. It basically just cut out the in and out point there, and it's holding it in a queue ready to paste it where I want to. I can just lift it and forget about it if I want to, but you may as well just hit delete. That is kind of the difference. If you just hit delete, it's not holding it in a paste queue. It basically lifts out the in and out point there. And delete will only delete selected clips as opposed to in and out points. So you can do exact in and out points. Say you just want to delete a portion of a clip here. I'm going to put an in point right there. It's just going to cut out that portion right there as opposed to the whole clip. If you select the clip and hit delete, it deletes the entire clip. If you have an in and out point selected and you do your semicolon or hit your lift key, it's going to pull out that section, that in and out point right there. So not just that, it'll pull out a portion of a clip as opposed to the entire clip. Let me reset my in point. Now watch what happens as we do extract. So here's the lift. It pulls it out and leaves the gap. I'm going to undo. And now the extract pulls that out and basically fills the gap for you. So say we want to move this in and out point to the end right here. So now I can do lift and it leaves the gap. I'm going to hit end to go to the end of my timeline. And command or control V on a PC will paste that in and out point right there. Like I said, when you do lift and extract, it keeps it in a paste queue ready to paste. So I'm going to undo that, go back. And now watch, I do extract, it fills the gap for me. I hit end and command V and it just pasted that. I just basically moved those clips from there to there by using the extract and pasting. So that's essentially what it does. I'm going to hit Option X on a Mac. On a PC, it would be Control Shift X to clear my in and out points. Nice little uh, shortcut there. But say we want to take these two clips here and move them somewhere in the middle right there. I'm going to go to the beginning and hit In Point. I'm going to arrow down twice so it lands right there because I want to take these two clips or even a single clip or whatever, however many you want to take. And I want to move these two clips and I want to put them in the middle right here. 
I'm going to extract those. If you do lift, remember it leaves the gap. So I'm going to do extract, arrow down where I want it to, to paste, right there. Watch what happens when I hit Command V. It pasted, but look what it did. It overwrites everything in its path right there. Say I want to insert it in there instead of paste it instead of overwriting. Basically that performed an overwrite right there. So I'm going to undo. So I still have those that in and out point in my queue here. Now a nice little shortcut here is command or control on a PC. Control shift or command shift V is in Victor to paste. So instead of just command V to paste, which overwrites if you do command or control and then hold down shift and paste it and V as in Victor, it does a ripple paste. It basically pastes it in between those two clips there and shoves everything out without overwriting or deleting those. So let's go through that one more quick time to refresh and that's pretty much it for the lift and extract. Let's say we were going to grab this clip and insert it right there. I'm going to jump down to this clip, in point, out point, so it's going to grab that range and I'm going to do my extract key some, or the, the parenthesis for the, the shortcut and now I'm going to jump down to where I want to paste it, say I want to paste it right there. Command or Control, Shift V. So Command Shift V, Control Shift V on a PC, and it pastes it, and it does a ripple paste and shoves it in there without deleting any of the extra footage. So that's basically the lift and extract function. That's a timeline functionality as opposed to a source monitor functionality.